Start tonight with the latest on that shakeup in Ottawa County today. A new slate of conservative commissioners ousted the county's administrator, replacing him with former Republican congressional candidate John Gibbs. They also fired the county health administrator and appointed Nathaniel Kelly to that position. The board also voted to close down the county's Office of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, which was created in 2018. And they changed the county motto from where you belong to where freedom rings. All of these changes happening today without public notice. News 8's Amanda Porter's in studio now with reaction to all this. Amanda? The commissioners behind today's changes said this is what the voters wanted. But those who spoke against them said what happened at today's meeting could have negative repercussions in the county for a long time. Major changes in Ottawa County's government. Newly elected commissioners firing and replacing several key employees during their first meeting of the new year. Those changes not on the agenda when the meeting started. You know, folks have reached out to me who you know, have expressed shock, you know, basically shock that you know, this could happen and this could happen in this way. Commissioners who were backed by the far right political action committee, Ottawa Impact, were behind today's changes. They say they're doing what voters elected them to do. This was a culmination of a lot of um, people involved, uh, a lot of voters. Um, there were uh, a groundswell of, of votes that um, I think led us to this point. Um, and the, uh, the results of um, our elections this year. So it's, uh, I know, something that's never really happened at this level before in, in Ottawa County. One change was to make former GOP congressional candidate John Gibbs the county's new administrator. Congratulations to all of you on the board for your uh, uh, wonderful election. Um, it shows that the people are still in charge. The founding fathers are looking down right now and very proud. Of what's happening right now. They also implemented a new motto and got rid of the Department of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Its presence already removed from the county's website. Those against the move, including the group Progressive Lakeshore, say it moves the county backwards. In a statement, they said DEI initiatives make communities more welcome for all and expand the talent pool for our business community. This commission has moved our county back 50 years in one fell swoop. One commissioner also voicing his disappointment tonight. Takes a lot of confidence and faith away. Um, you know, we had done a lot of work around uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Obviously, that, that department was... Uh, was removed today and the director was removed. Along with the obvious benefits of equity and inclusion policies, many large companies like to do business in communities with strong programs in those areas. We asked the new county administrator how getting rid of the office that handles those issues might impact business. Well, they're going to want to invest here because they can get high quality employees and their employees are going to have a high quality of life living in our great Ottawa County here. So that's why companies come here. We're going to actually continue to improve that. We're going to continue to improve the um, quality of life. We're going to be working with the Sheriff's Department. We're going to be working with everybody to make sure housing is affordable and, and all the other items on the agenda. The Ottawa County Board also hired General Counsel Kalman Legal Group, which was involved in high profile pandemic and LGBTQ cases in our state. In the studio, Amanda Porter, News 8.